Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to digitally sign your Word document with Form Titan add-in for Word. So let, uh, we have a simple Word document here. We mapped in the account name and the account type. And what we want to do is to get this uh, Word document digitally signed. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the Form Titan uh, palette and click the signature. And in this video I'll show you the visible digital signature. Um, we did a separate video for the uh, invisible and we're going to select our object the account and let's uh, take a look so you can map all these guys here dynamically from Salesforce the comments the role city country name postal code state or province and um, that will show up in your signature details in Word so let's just say in the comments we're gonna do uh, uh, the account ID and in the role we're just going to do static so let's just do a uh, static row and same for city and country name we'll do it static so we just did the comments dynamic again you can do everything here dynamic as well just for the demonstration purposes so we'll stick with static and one guy left and now we have these guys, the sign line, suggested signer, suggested signer two, and the suggested signer email. And these you can map directly from Salesforce to, again, this will show in the signature details that will show you who signed the document. So if you uh, will grab dynamic and let's say, um, let's put in the account ID and the suggested signer will put in dynamic again, we'll select the account name and the signer to um, we could do the parent account or something like this in this instance I'm just gonna use a static um, and the suggested email let's see if we have an account an email on one of our accounts we don't so let's just uh, do something static and again you could use this completely dynamically from Salesforce so we're gonna do and we'll insert our signature. Now the only thing we have left to do is to publish our um, document into the form titan. So we're gonna head over to publish. I'm just gonna take a look at my filter, make sure everything is good. And I'll publish this. Now I'm gonna head to my form titan environment and open this document. I'm gonna sign in. And I'll log into the digital signature word. And one thing you have to set up is in the word mapping, we've got to tell Form Titan to enable the signature. And I've already enabled auto download, so I can automatically download my document once it's submitted. And you would be able to use this with a Salesforce button using the Form Titan application for Salesforce. And we have a bunch of uh, videos about this, how to connect this directly with your Salesforce. In this instance, we're just going to pass in variables to the URL with an account ID. Um, let's just publish this guy. And I'm going to grab an ID of an account from Salesforce. Take a look at the field ID, the hidden field, the account ID, which I'm basing my uh, get from. So we're going to pass in FLD2 equals to my account ID and now I'm going to hit submit and the preview will be loading and here I'll be able to sign my document and here is my uh, preview for the document I have the account name and the account uh, type mapped in and now I, I want to sign so let's draw our signature um, and hit confirm and continue which will generate my document my document was automatically downloaded since I enabled the automatic download. And now we'll open it and see the signature information. And here is my uh, Word document with the, with the digital signature. We can see that it's a protected view. Let's click the enable editing. And what we will get is um, option to edit anyway or view signature. Let's take a look at the signature first and I'll open the signature details on the right side 
and we can see that the um, I got the account ID here since I mapped in the account ID and I mapped the signer as uh, the account name so we got a little donkey and the signer2 was signer2 static. Uh, we can see the full information where we mapped so we can see the static row and uh, static city, state, postal and country and again you can map all these uh, dynamically from Salesforce like we've done with the account ID and the account name. Um, if you would like to edit this you will just click edit anyway and then Word will tell you that the signature is removed from your document and now you could do whatever you like with it. And this is how it's done.